this game is so big. You mentioned the standings earlier. I'm expecting a very well-played game because both teams need it to either keep their playoff live. Both of these teams have lost to Westchester, so they're need, gonna need to finish a game better than the Knicks. Pick and pop with Diakite, and this continues his hot shooting. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm talking about all his interior work. He goes out hitting threes on the first play. I love it, man. Cash is Stanley with the answer back. It's the Westchester like these two teams have. You might need to finish nine and six. Yeah, and hope for some help from Westchester. Yep. Kareem Manet with a corner three. Twenty-five percent from downtown on the season for LeCue. Here comes Stanley, the athletic Duke Blue Devil, has that shot wiped Man, away by Diakita. That was a travel. <laughs> but on this end, he gets Cassius Stanley, who we know is excellent score. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, Big excellent time. score. Big time score. Averaged 22 and a half per game last year with the Erie Bayhawks on that two-way with New Orleans. Inside, it's Robert Franks using the left hand. And a big-time three-point shooter at Washington State and 36% last year in the G League, but this year just 23% from downtown. And there is Brima just really going to take a hit. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, like for the first, like, 10 games. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of players agree with you. Yeah, you know, shooters just want that rhythm. More, more reps and attempts you can get the better. Devin Robinson, we talked about guys who can kind of hop on pogo stick. And as much as I love Brahma, like Devin Robinson was a bright spot before Brahma got there. And, you know, having Brahma just makes it better for Fort Wayne that you have no weaknesses at that center position. Devin Kennedy hits the runner. Had a rough game a couple of games back, only hit one field goal and then exploded last time out, nine for 12 and five for seven from deep. What do you like about Billy's job. game? You know what, he's got one of those in-between games that I love. He, he's one of those guys I couldn't stand guarding on the scout report because you didn't know what to take away. Protect the rim. You see Jalen Kuhn already down there. They might just throw it up to him. Throw to Robinson, and he hits the elbow Jimmy. He's known for his dunking. He, he can occasionally hit the three, but uh, showing you that mid-range game there. Yep, and took a fall there against the Akita. Gray on the attack. Stays with Bowen, lobs it up, and it's put home by Stanley right in the rim. Tay affected this last shot by Josh Gray, but Fort Wayne stuck with it. And like you said, I thought Bowen had the lane as well, but Diakite is right there, I guess, so he decided to throw it up. Rayshon Hammond's in and missing the corner three, former Georgia Bulldog. Low score and a fair to start. DJ Hogle trying another triple, and that uh, one drops in. Yeah, you mentioned it, Kevin. That was no hesitation. That's what I'd say to that, Kevin. You know, when I first got in this league, the only guys getting call-ups were guys who were averaging 30 when I first got in this league. NBA players, you're like, this guy is yeah. really talented. So the answer really is, you know, the guys who I thought could make it ended up being picked, you know, as the years progress and as we started valuing different things instead of just points per game. You mentioned Aaron Kraft and Dominique Sutton, a couple of just dogged defenders. Oh, man. That's a two good ones right there. Aaron Kraft, man, how good was he? Woo! How about that from Rayshon Hammond? Eight to shoot, well defended. They got Teske guarding Mitru Long on the follow and it doesn't go. But there's Hammonds inside. No, and finally it goes home on the putback for Bowen. Oh, Lakeland's got caught on these switches a couple times with their bigs on guards, and they've done pretty well. Just couldn't come up with the rebound there. DJ Hogue, his second triple of the first. I, I was thinking for a time, if they were to remake the G League logo is Cassius Stanley hits the three. And more than a front row seat. It was not on me, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, was, it was not on, on me. And it was on a good shot blocker, Travis Hyman, right? A seven-footer for it. Nice finish by uh, Andrew Rousey off the glass. But hey, if you're a shot blocker, you're going to get dunked on sometimes. That's true. That's true. Way to clean it up for me, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Prima with the dunk. Stretching out for either team. Nope. You know, until we get to the fourth here. This is the G League for you. No team is led by more than four. Rousey off the pump fake, puts it in. It's five points for Rousey. Stanley backing his way down on Dowden. Baby hooks it home over left nice. shoulder. And we're kind of seeing everything from Cassius Stanley to start. Patient with that move, took his time, used his body, his strength, athleticism. That was nice. Rousey from 15. Why not? The offense is picking up here in the second quarter. Yep. Josh Gray, can't leave him alone. 
the head of the snake on the defensive end as well. So obviously looking to guys like him to get these young guys in gear. LeCue flying inside and spins it down. Ooh. Well, he could have touched the rim on that one. Yeah, oh yeah. Still <laughs> just 20 years old as down down to back with a three. Oh, keep him coming. I love it. <laughs> down. Nice pocket pass to Tikite who punctures it down. Goodness yeah. gracious. <laughs> Six points, three boards, two swats for Diakite. Oh, great wraparound pass by Mitru Long to Robinson. You know, Kevin Wise on my mind. I got to mention another player who okay, yeah. was mind-boggling to me how he didn't get a call up. Curtis Stinson. Oh, yes. Iowa energy great. Laid in. And I tell you, you know, Isaiah Todd hit the game winner for them last night. Reminds you a lot of what Brandon Ashley can yes. do just a little bit more season. To the hoop. Oh, the block. Oh, wow. Diakite sends it back. Daxter Miles Jr. floats it home. Poor Wayne team is deep. It's yes. easy to see how they got on a roll. I was surprised at the slow start they had, just waiting for the talent to catch up to the record. Diakite, that is a triple. Franks backing down on the mouse in the house. Billy Garrett, nice shot fake. To the hoop with the left. This, this guy can do you jump for the pump fake because he can shoot the three and then he goes right past the mid-range uses body nicely gets the layup Bowen with a big response maybe the ultimate goal of this league is to develop players but winning always matters if you're out there you want to win there's no reason not to a grizzled vet at 27 years old that's right Frank's on a step back he'll make you pay yeah, want to get the minutes to play through those mistakes. Now, if they play through those mistakes and are upset about everything you try to tell them, then it's hard for them to learn. But like a Taylor Horton Tucker, like you mentioned, he was listening to everything I told. Lakeland has so much length between Franks and Diakite. It's just hard to do anything under that rim. You can see, you can see why they have such good defensive numbers. And Devin Kennedy hits the corner three. If you want a chance to beat Lakeland right now. Who is the best shot blocker you played with in the G League? <laughs> You're going to laugh, but Travis Hyman was one of them. He's incredible. Yeah, I tell you, <laughs> Diakite, what hasn't he done tonight? And this is over a shot blocker. I mean, the foul line. Free throw looks a little bit better, but a couple of years ago with Austin, he was 34%. Stanley hits the three. Diakite wants it. He's cooking right now. Jab step, spin move, oh. with the left. Oh. Four and two in their last six. Deep three for Gray rattles in. Big shot by Gray. Let's see what they draw up here. They go to Stanley, and he wanted an and one. But like he really got hit. It's four on five still. There's Mamadi. Oh, you know he's going to want to get some <laughs> get back. <laughs> Milwaukee has to be loving what they're seeing out of him. Yes. Franks inside, loves that left hand. Yeah, definitely. He, on this team, he's not going to put up the stats that will make you say, wow, but he definitely has an NBA body and a guy who could play at the next level. Yeah, his wingspan looks like yes. well over seven feet. Abadi has the rebound. No good. Billy Garrett was open outside, but Manet will take care of things down low. Yeah. What was your least when they, when they introduced the fever rule where you can start taking it off the rim, I was not oh. pleased with that. Oh, I, I love that. I couldn't tell you how many threes they took off my board, <laughs> man, hitting the rim. Brian Bowen, the second tough finish over Hogue. It's two for five from downtown in this contest. Driving and a good take to the hoop by Jalen Lequeu. You, you have to go way back, back when the league was completely in the southeast. <laughs> and it was like 40 minute, 10 minute quarters. Oh my goodness. Quarter three for Bowen is good. The lead is three for Fort Wayne. Dowden drops it off. Lefty miss for Teske, gets it back, goes up and one. 
<laughs> yeah, and I guard Dax and Miles when we play each other. So, yeah, I've heard him say it a time or two, actually. <laughs> you know, Lakeland and kind of changed my philosophy a bit. Dowden on the drive. Pulls up, puts it in. First bucket in what seems like forever for Lakeland. Looking for the two for one, Fort Wayne. Rousey fakes the pass, takes the three. Wow, that was nice. Diakite inside. Wow, taking out his frustration, and Devin Robinson felt all of that. Dowden setting up Hogue. There's his first two point attempt, and that's a block from Robinson. Rousey gets it back and lays it in. Robinson, he'll try a triple, and that's good. A big shot from Devin Robinson. Good look inside. Set up by Rousey for Diakite. Rousey to the rim, block. Diakite's there, and Robinson disrupted that. Big play by Robinson. Garrett, floater strong. Diakite hits the deck again. No shot blocker for Gray to contest with. One of my best teammates ever, Josh Majet, who played for this Lakeland team. They can oh, use a bit of his yes. magic right now. <laughs> great, great dude, great player in the G League. Good look there from Bowen initially, though. Consistently getting good looks for Wayne is right now, and Lakeland not so much until this one. That is a good look for sure for Devin Kennedy, who's up to eight points. Very fortunate, without question. Rousey, nice shot fake, gets Miles to fly by, settles into the long deuce. Tough possession there out of a timeout, like you said, usually draw something up in those situations. Nice dish into the corner, and Robert Franks hits a triple to put Lakeland in the lead. Great all night. Only one miss on the day. Six of seven from the field. Inside to Robinson. You see a little bit of adjustment by Fort Wayne putting Daxter Miles on Andrew Rousey here, trying to slow him down. They go to Diakite, hands it off nicely to Billy Garrett, who up until that point was one for ten. The 26th lead change. That's how tight this one has been the whole way. Pinned off the window, goaltend. 96-93, both good from Diakite, who's up to 25. Diakite blows up the kind of mini lob inside. The defense from the Mad Ants. Kennedy's wishing he shot that first one as soon as yep. Diakite kicked it to him. For the tie, Cassius Stanley cashes in. That is 20 for Cassius Stanley, and we are all square with 48 seconds to go. Garrett pulls up, short, rebound Mitru Long. Certainly not now. LeCue going on Kennedy to the hoop, puts it in. Jalen LeCue puts Fort Wayne in front. Diakite with 25, goes to Rousey. He goes to work. Garrett splitting a double, and we got a foul and counted for Billy Garrett. Big free throw here to put Lakeland back in front. It's good. Screen set for Robinson. Bowen on the drive, puts it up, no. Rebound, blocked by Diakite. Lakeland has it in the corner and they have to foul Franks. First one's good. Plenty of times, yeah. I mean, okay. you, you have to you know, focus yourself in and uh, step to the plate. But yeah, you know, guys get nervous there, but. They gotta go, is this too short a time on the clock to try to foul, because basically they'd be going up for a three? Much too short, they gotta go for three right now. Stanley to tie from 40, well short, and the Magic escapes with a win over the Mad Ants.